Clark, it's been a while now that the Salt Lake Express and the airport shuttle have merged and become one, and it has been good for all of us in so many ways. Yep, and we started in October of last year, and um, since then we've kind of worked out the kinks and providing the type of service we were doing before we merged, only we have the benefit of having the big vehicles, and having the back the backup vehicles and the infrastructure that we need for online reservations and it's really working well so far. Well, it's always been a benefit to us here in the community. My father used the airport shuttle so many times because he traveled so much and now you're really focusing on I think a little bit more luxury I could say, customer service, your vehicles are extremely nice and you're making it that much more convenient for us. Tell us about this. Uh, you know, you don't have to ride to pick up other people. You've got this down to a science that is just really customer service oriented. Yeah, thank you. Um, the biggest problem we had, we were in business since 87, so what, 23, 24 years as Cash Valley Limo, and the biggest problem, the biggest complaint we had was that in order to pick up people at their homes and make it as customer service and as nice a service as we could, it would take a lot of time. So if you were picked up at the north end of the valley or the, the northeast end of the valley, um, you would be on the, the, the vehicle sometimes an hour before you left the valley. And that, people don't like that, and it's really hard to, to get away from that. Um, and as bad as that is, it's ten times worse when you want to get home. You get right in the valley, you can see where you live, but you're touring, that's what we would call, they didn't like tours of the valley. So we found a way to do this, which is, uh, we think it r works really, really good. It's very efficient, it actually saves money, is we, we have a set schedule. Um, Cash Valley Limo, the, the old service would go an average of 11 to 13 times a day. And we do the same thing. We're, we're doing 12 trips a day. Salt Lake Express, before the merge, would do about five trips a day. So our focus now is to try to provide as many opportunities for people who, who need to have the ability to get to and from Salt Lake when they want. They don't want to wait at the airport for two hours. They also don't want to be driving around the valley when they get here. So we used the one main vehicle, and we've gone to a bigger vehicle that uh, people can fill comfortable in. They don't feel like they're being jammed into a sardine can. And that main vehicle goes 12 times a day on schedule, both leaving the valley and coming back. So, you know, one complaint was if people were delayed, you didn't know what time you were going to get home. Well, you know now, we're going to go within 10 minutes of the time that we've scheduled. We'll use other vehicles to pick you up at your home if that's what you want. So we still have doorstep service, and it's about the same price as it was before, but that, that vehicle, there might be two or three of them picking up at the same time. So if you had to, to leave at 6 before, now you could leave at 6.45 at 7 and save yourself 45 minutes to an hour, um, get on the vehicle, get on a nice big vehicle, and it, it, people are just, it's going really well. I love to hear about these changes because I wasn't aware of the fact that these the doorstep service was still part of it and you bring us to a location that leaves on time. Love that. It, again just saves you time in the morning or the afternoon or the evening because you're traveling all day long and you're helping us all the way around and then you talked about your vehicle this vehicle behind us is very spacious and very nice and clean and air conditioned or heated depending upon the weather you make that comfortable so I can be putting my makeup on or reading my newspaper right yep you can do that or sleep a lot of people you wouldn't believe how many people just get on and sleep but there's plenty of room all the seats are bucket seats um, and what we want is you can get in, you can stand up and walk down an aisle and get in. They're, they're very good. This is a Mercedes-Benz uh, Sprinter. It's sold by Dodge now. Um, they run on diesel. They're about the most efficient diesel that you can get. And we have technology now that lets them run, at least assists run on natural gas, which again, we can talk about that later. So they're very efficient, very, very clean. And they, they, they can take a lot of people and do it very comfortably. I think that the point that needs to be stressed is how much you're spoiling us here in the valley, making this very convenient and affordable for us to do this. I just traveled the other day, and had I known about this service, I would not have driven, done the park and jet, paid the fees, had to worry about that schedule, and my makeup wasn't on for half the day. Honestly, you kind of said it was an early morning flight. So Clark, you're really making this advantageous for us here in the valley. How do they get in contact? Do you have a website, or is there a phone number we should call? Well, the phone numbers are all over the sides of the van, and you can call the same number that was that you might have for Cash by Limo. The two companies merged. Um, I'm not sure. There's one eight hundred six five eight eight five two six. There's four three five five six three sixty four hundred. You can you can look on our website. That's what we really would like you to do is go to the website. Just you can find that in uh, LoganShuttle.com or SaltLakeExpress.com. I think Cash Valley Transportation. 
Uh, and we'll have that on the screen. So easy to find them. Check out because you'll see the schedule and the drop-off locations because if you don't want to be picked up at your door, you can be meet here and park here, leave your car here. Again, you're looking at every way to make it better for us. Yeah, some people, uh, if they're going to leave at 4 in the morning, they don't want to make their wife bring them down here. Um, it's, it saves a lot of money to go to one of the main pickup locations and those locations are just designed to go from the north end to the south end in a direct route so uh, it's as quick as possible. The northernmost set stop we have is at the Holiday Inn Express and they'll let you park there for free um, and, and that's a really a great deal so people go there and the price is almost half of what it is, to, you know, what the normal price is. Um, again if you live up there and you want to get picked up by doorstep, we'll have another vehicle take you there or take you here to save time. Um, here, we're at the Transit Center. You can see, if you can recognize this, this is the Transit Center. Um, if you could see these parking spots, these belong to Cache Valley, excuse me, they belong to Salt Lake Express. And um, you can come here and use any of these parking spots that you want to park at. Um, yeah, and you're making it convenient for us here in the Valley Salt Lake Express. Let them take you and take away your worries. Thanks so much, Clark.